What's up, Cartoon Nation? That's right, I'm in a mall. You know what? I'm here because I'm gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna do something that's never been done before. I'm gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna do an animation transformation. The subject, this guy. Hey everybody, I'd like you to meet somebody. What's going on, buddy? Pretty good. What's your name? Andrew. Andrew. See, so you've got your skateboard and you're doing some drawings. Yeah. Want to hang out with me for a bit? Do something neat? Yeah, that sounds cool. That's pretty creepy, eh? From a guy who just walks up to you in a mall with a camera. All right, buddy. What are you drawing? Uh, pretty much just the mall, kind of. Yep. In a place where we belong. So, Andrew, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I guess. Um, basically, I draw a lot, so I do a lot of cartoon drawings, and I also go to Sheridan for, uh, well, basically I'm just in a visual arts program, so more art stuff, and hoping to get into animation this, this year sometime. This could be your lucky break, my friend. You see, Cartoon Nation, this is my goal. I want to do something that's never, ever been done before. We've seen it before, where we've had a person who has been drawn into a cartoon, or a character who has been made, but we have never seen a cartoon be made into a real person. So Andrew, let me ask you, when did you first start watching Sixteen? How old were you? I would say I was about 13 when I started watching 16. 13? Yes. And who's your favorite character off of 16? Obviously Jude. Obviously Jude? Yeah, I noticed that. If, you... I, had, if I had to pick a second one, it'd probably be Nikki. <laughs> well, that's a different kind of show, transforming you into a female character, but let's just stick with Jude for today. So. What makes you like Jude? I don't know, I've always liked his show back attitude. And I have to admit, I'm always addicted to his laugh. <laughs> so, nice. And when I was younger, I always wanted to try and become like a skater. Pretty much tried to be a skater, and I kind of followed Jude's way first. Kind of like <laughs> you got a skateboard here. Yeah. Do you know how to skateboard? Nope. <laughs> Let's hear your best Jude impression. Dude, you're totally cursing my mellow. I don't know. So, you're totally into animation? Yeah. And you want to pursue a career in making cartoons? That's right. And how would you say your kung fu stylings are in the art of animation? <laughs> Somewhat good. Hey Andrew, have you ever worked in a mall? No, I haven't. We got a lot of work to do. So are you currently employed as we speak? No, uh, I'm actually still looking for my first job. Okay, we have a hit. We got one point. You are one point closer to Jude. Well, here we are in the parking lot of the Oakville Town Place Mall. And uh, I'm joined by Andy Anime, Andy Mation. <laughs> and uh, 
we're gonna talk a little skate. So Andrew, on a scale of one to ten, what's your skateboarding level? Uh, zero or one. I see you have your skateboard here. Tell us a little bit about this skateboard. When did you get it and why? I got it when I was like sir, Pacey around 13, 14. And I got it because uh, that's when I was starting to watch 16. And after about a while, I started getting used to 16. I started looking at the character Jude. And because he skateboarded, it tempted me to be, tempted me to try and skateboard. And so I bought, I tried to find a skateboard that I could afford, and now I have it, but I just haven't ever really used it. Dude, you were doing it. Since you're not too... Well, you don't really... You haven't... I'm gonna give you a helmet. All right, buddy, let's let it rip, shred. What? Yeah, give her. I don't know. I want to see you just stand on it. Where are we at? Yeah. Nah. Well, I think I know what the problem is. Let's see your skateboard. Yeah, it's not you, buddy. It's the board. Let's fix this. Okay, Andrew, I have a bunch of stickers here. Um, so let's see if we can make your board look cool. Ooh, here's a ninja. That one for sure. And uh, yeah, let's sort through these. Oh! Okay, hit us with your best trick. All right, not bad. Okay, we have a bunch of different stickers here. Uh, let's try and make it look cool. Well, Chinese lettering always makes something look really cool. This is big and orange. That'll make it look cool. Oh, a ninja, yeah, there's the ninja. Uh, a cross, that'll make it look good. This thing, whatever it is. And, oh yeah, yeah. Here, put some of that. Whistler. You can say black comb, it will, yeah, totally. Got a maple leaf on it. Here's a skull. Yeah? <laughs> um, what else we got? This guy, this little dog's got a gun. So, oh, a heart with a uh, electric bolt. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah. Ah, uh, this guy's good. Um, yeah. <laughs> that guy's pretty chill. <laughs> oh, look, a skull. Yeah! Alright, let's put them on. Let's just put them all on. Ninja! Dude, look at it already. It's way cooler. Stickers make the skater. Alright, buddy. Pimp your deck. Let me give you a little hand. I do have somewhat of an artistic eye. Oh, see, you bonked your head on there, didn't you? Yeah? See, if you didn't have that helmet on, I could have been in a lot of trouble. All right, here it goes, the first stick. Let's go. Don't think about it, just do it, Andrew. Be the Jude. Do you think Jude would like, yeah, see? Already, already that's cooler. You know, you feeling it? All right. All right, buddy. Yeah? Oh, that's the skull, where are you gonna put it? Yep. There. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen of Cartoon Nation, I I just I was told something by a fan. What was that about? What would what did Jude say about stickers? Well, I remember in one of the episodes he said that if you put stick, if you have too many stickers, you may slow down your board. He's right. I forgot. I don't know where Christian starts and Jude ends anymore. But you know what? Yeah, but that's okay. He's got a ninja on his board. Safety first. <laughs>